You touched on this the other day, that the fact that it throws into question discipline within the, the ranks. Have, have the players got an understanding of where they're supposed to be and all those type of questions fans well, are going to ask? Players, is there an issue here? Is, is, no. there, is there an issue with this? Uh, do, do, I, do, I, do I walk around banging people on the head? Uh, am I a clock watcher? Do I make sure the players are in? Um, or if, if players, do, do they get hauled over the carpet if they're one minute late? No, I don't run a regime like that. What we try to do is we try to make sure players have to be in by 10 o'clock. What you find most of the changing room between quarter past and half past nine, the players are in because they know the preparation that's needed. But gone are the days of people rolling and getting out of the car, slipping on the kit and going training. Uh, there's preparation that goes on in the, uh, in the gym uh, with Lee Firm. Um, so, no, on a whole, um, we're creating a very professional environment. It's, it's been a mishap. Um, we need to move on very quickly uh, as a collective. The easy thing to do, I've heard people say about naming and shaming. Uh, players make mistakes. Uh, they're human beings that make mistakes. Uh, I'll stand by anybody that's prepared to stand up and say they've not made a mistake in their life um, or made a decision that uh, that they uh, that uh, that they now regret. Everybody does. Uh, I'll be the first person on me out and say I've made some stupid mistakes, some stupid areas of judgments, but I moved on. Uh, and all I can ask for is forgiveness of the players. They've made mistakes. Um, they've been uh, they've been punished. Uh, they've accepted their punishment as men. Um, and it, it is an inconvenience for them. Not only the financial uh, implications uh, that would uh, that will hurt them. Um, but you know, I've maximised the punishment I can do, and that's all I can do. The club have left it open for the, the lads to apologise to the fans. Do you think we should just leave that there, just put that away, and let's get on with the business of Saturday? I, I think the, the important thing now, the, the, the players will show their uh, apology uh, in in their performances from now until the end of the season. Well, not only not only their performances uh, out on the pitch, in and around the local community. Uh, when players now get asked to go out to the local community, they will have a better understanding of they're standing within the local community because you know, this has, it has caused outcry, uh, outcry because it, it, is, uh, it isn't acceptable for, for a, a professional footballer to not prepare himself for the paying public to come in and support them and then, then to find out that total disregard for their own profession. How do we move on now? Today's an important day of the full preparation for Newport. Um, it's a new year. It's a new year. It's a new start for everybody at the football club. Um, my first job is to walk into the change room is to wish everybody uh, a happy new year uh, and yeah uh, there's been some disappointing things that have happened in 2014 for, for lots of people uh, inside the football club and outside the football club it's an opportunity uh, for, us, for us as a football club now to move on uh, in the right direction the team who bullied us when they came up here just a few weeks ago i'm sure the lads will be able to use that as an incentive to go down there this weekend i think i think uh, um the change room needs a reaction. Uh, we need to show everybody um, what we're about. Um, we've had glimpses of it. Northampton at home, more come away. That was a glimpse of uh, again of how far we've come as a football club. So I don't think when I first walked in, those performances were there. Um, the results and the performance against York still shows us how far we've got to go, and there's a long way to go. And the away performance at Markham that was something that we needed because the away results would be becoming an issue, that shows what we can do if we get it right. Yeah, definitely. I, I was lucky. I've, I've been out. I've, I spoke to a few supporters uh, that were at the Morecambe game and, and, and they've said they've never enjoyed uh, a team performance like that for, for a long time. But and also the appreciation that the, the staff, the players, after the game, you know, we didn't just, uh, it wasn't a casual wave to the supporters. We went up and got touched tight to the supporters uh, and showed that unity that you know, we do appreciate it. Um, so, we know it's there, and we know that we've let them down uh, by the actions of, uh, of some of the players uh, over the weekend. But again, they've addressed it, um, they've apologised, we need to move on. And just finally from me, Keith, you've said all along this is a, a battle that will take us all the way to the end. Are the lads ready for it? Yes, the, the, the lads are ready, but again, what we do, what we do need, is we need the support uh, of Carlisle United supporters. Uh, yes, players have made mistakes. Uh, I probably think every every single supporter that comes through that uh, through that turnstile, if they hold their hands up, uh, they would have made a mistake sometime. Um, ours have been made in front of uh, paying public, disappointing. Uh, as professionals, it's gone it's gone national. Uh, so there's media coverage uh, throughout uh, uh, th th throughout our industry, which is disappointing because uh, we want the spotlight not to be on what players are doing off of the field. It's got to be about what the what players are doing and trying to do on the pitch, uh, that's where we need to change.